Hey you, you're watching Robbie Fishing. Hey you, you're watching Robbie Fishing. G'day folks, this afternoon I'm over at the Waranga Basin. Last time I was here the water was about 10 feet lower. I was fishing with Rowan, we were bait fishing and I caught one tiny little red fin rod on sunset. Today it's a little bit warmer, that was back in July, it's now October and I'm chasing red fin. I'm going to start off with a strike tiger nymph. 1.5 inch curl tail grub in white bait pearl colour with a 332 of an ounce jig head. I'll recap. Strike Tiger 1.5 inch curl tail grub in white bait pearl colour, 332 of an ounce jig head. Let's see if we can catch some red fin. Got him. There you go folks. I've been fishing for around about half an hour and I've finally caught my first fish. I've been a bit worried that it might be a bit too early. I'm on the board. I'll get me a camera and get a quick picky. No, I won't because he just released himself right there. I had a near redfin experience. It was a very near redfin experience. I got it right there. I've been here about half an hour. I was thinking about going over to the other side of the lake over there where there's a grassy flat. I thought I'll give it another quarter of an hour. If I don't see any fish, I'll go over to the grassy area. Well, I just saw a fish. So I'm staying here. Because where there's one, there's usually more. And that pulled drag. Which is not good because it was only four inches long. <laughs> Old mate just down here on the banks gutting the fish. That's got to be a good sign. Oh, got him. Oh, I fish hit that right there then. I thought I had a touch halfway through the cast. Oh, well, that was a touch, and then I never come back. Then, just as I was pulling it out of the water, I fish hit it. Got him. Yes, see if I can land this one. I've lost one and missed one. Here we go, folks. The first Waringa redfin on a lure for the season, even though there's no redfin season. We call it a season because we don't usually do this in the winter. Righto. Little redfin. See you later, mate. Always great to see a young family out fishing. I wonder if those people out there realise they're about to make a cameo appearance in a Robbie fishing YouTube video. One little one. I am. Oh dear. Well, I've caught one. Have you done? Have you? You done any good? Would you look at that? These folks came along to say g'day because they saw me fishing. Hunter caught a fish on my fishing rod. Mate, you are a legend. Thank you, Hunter. And your dad says he's going to eat it. Is that exciting? <laughs> there goes Hunter and family. What a wonderful young boy. Wonderful people. It was very really nice of them. They uh, saw me and came to say g'day. I actually caught a redfin while I was talking to him, but that one didn't make it onto the camera. But we've got Hunter's fish on camera, and that's the main thing. Got him. Yes, it's taken me a while since Hunter left. A little one, this one. All right. That's web fin number three, but you only got to see Q. Righty, a little red fin. 
time to grow. See you later, mate. Go and eat as many yabbies, shrimps, and minnows as you can find and grow to about three pounds, and I'll see you next year. <laughs> right now, I've caught a few in this spot, but it's been pretty quiet. I've been here a couple of hours to get those few. So I'm just thinking, well, I've still got a bit of light left. I might pack up and just go over there to the Harriman Point boat ramp and just have a bit of a cast around the boat ramp there. Right now, there's the boat ramp, just there. I've come only about probably 150 metres from where I was just to try a different sort of area. Oh look, oh, I lost him. Hooked one right there as I was lifting the lure out of the water. Very first cast in this new spot. Right there I hooked him. Oh, a little one fell on it. Instead of the boil there. Another little touch, just there. They seem to follow it in and then just hit it as I'm lifting it out of the water. Got him. There you go. Another little Warango Redfin. Look at the light. I wasn't going to get a photo of this one, but I will. I just like the lighting, the way the, the sun's lighting it up. Not oh, there he goes. He got off. He got off as I was photographing him, but I got a couple of good photos. Happy with that. Always got a lovely sunset here at Warringah Basin. It's so big and flat. Got him. Little weeny one. Smallest one of the day. <laughs> My God! <laughs> Look at the size of that. <laughs> He's a, not much longer than my index finger. <laughs> Little kid just yells out, who's that out in the water? Got him. Oh, I lost him. Oh, there's a little beanie bust up. So there's little reddies here in the shallows. They're over there, there to the left. Oh, he's got him in me lure. Now, 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 any time. Any time. Oh, he's a touch. They're too small, I think. There's a really, oh, he's fired it out. There's a really, really, really small redfin here. I need a striped tiger nymph, I reckon. Ooh, little one tapped it. And I've just changed lures. There's some really small redfin, and I'm talking only a lot even three inches long, chasing my lure. They're hitting the tail but not hooking up. So I've gone to a Strike Tiger micro spoon because it's got a single hook at the back just to see if I can hook these real tiny redfin. I'm actually, at the moment, I'm deliberately targeting tiny redfin. Got him! <laughs> oh, I lost him! <laughs> I was just about to say the plan paid off with the micro spoon, but he got off.
Oh, there's a little fish jumping to see. He gave me Micros, but Micros been over in that area. I don't know which direction he went though. Got him! There he is! Oh, I lost him! Oh, another one swiping it! <laughs> They're all so small. They're tiny, but it's fun. And that's what fishing's all about. Got him! Yes! <laughs> so yeah, you set the micro spoon. If I got it, uh, can I get a sunset photo with a redfin here? Even if it is like absolutely minute. Mate, your back tail doesn't look very healthy. I'm not sure what's wrong with you. You got tailatitis. Well, your back fin, I meant, not your back tail. <laughs> I put this on to deliberately target small redfin, and I caught small redfin. I love it when a plan comes together. The Waranga Basin, it's full and it's fishing okay. It's not red hot, but it's only the middle of October and I can't help but think that as the weather warms up, the fishing will improve. But for now, it's well worth a trip. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, why not give it a big fat thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.